What's up guys, Iovo here, and today I have a brand new how-to video for you guys. I know it's been a while since I've done one, and to be honest, I've just been trying out new things on the channel and have been having a ton of fun doing so, but I know some of you guys do miss the old videos. So today I'm going to be showing you how to make a professional banner and profile picture using Photoshop. Now this is going to give you a very clean final product, which is great for branding, Plus, it's very simple to make. Now, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, be sure to hit that like button down below. Let's see if we can break 2,000 likes for this video. And with that being said, let's get started. So the first thing that you want to do is go ahead and go to File and New. And for the banner, you're going to create a new file that is 2560 by 1440 pixels with the background contents being transparent. Now, to make the banner, the first thing you need to do is go ahead and find a background image. I actually found a site a couple of days ago. It's not sponsored, but it's called unsplash.com. And basically they have a ton of high quality images you can use for your banner and it's all free to use. Now to just save an image, you click on it and then you right click it and then you click on save image as and your image will be saved. So once you find a nice clean background image, just go back to Photoshop, go to file, place, and then place that image. So the file I got was called two minutes and to actually just resize it, hold the shift key and then drag the corners out. Now holding shift will allow you to keep the proportions of the image so it doesn't get too stretched out. And once you have done so, just press the check mark. Now if you want to center this image in any way, just press Ctrl A, go to Layer, Align, Layers to Selection, Vertical Centers, and Layer, Align, Layers to Selection, Horizontal Centers to center the image vertically and horizontally. Now the next step is to add some effects to the actual background. If you guys like the way it looks already, just leave it, but you can also go ahead and add a blur to the image so that the text will stand out more. So just with the layer selected, go to Filter, Blur, and then select the Motion Blur. And of course, this is going to be all preference, but in this case, I think maybe like a 25 pixel blur will look really nice. Then I'm gonna press on OK. And the second thing I'm going to do is make the background image a bit darker so that once it's a bit darker, the text will stand out more. So right click, go to blending options, and then select a color overlay, and you can make it black to make it a bit darker, and then just play with the opacity so that you can find the color you like best. So if I make it like 80, it's a bit too dark, 70 seems right, then I'm going to click on OK. You can also change the brightness and the contrast and other settings by clicking on this circle over here and selecting brightness slash contrast or whatever you want. And then you can mess around with that as well and find the image to suit your needs. But that's all we had to do for the background. And now we have this beautiful background image and it's time to make the text. So go ahead, create a new layer, select the text tool, and then just click down here. For this actual background or for this text, I'm going to be using the font Champagne and Limousines. I'm going to make it regular for now and make the font 100 points big. And I'm going to type out test, make that caps, test banner. And then just to add some effect, I'm going to highlight banner and make it bold so it looks kind of cool. And then we're done. Now to center the text, press Control A. Make sure you have the text layer selected. Go to layers, align layers to selection, vertical centers, layer, align layers to selection, horizontal centers, press control D and boom, your text is placed. Now the next step is to go ahead and make our text look all pretty and add some effects to it. So right click on the text layer, go to blending options, and we are going to be giving this text a slightly metallic look. So go ahead and check off gradient overlay and make it a low opacity, like 25, 30%. And now it has kind of like a metallic shine to it. And then we're going to add a drop shadow and we are going to make the drop shadow have an opacity at 100%, distance zero, and we're going to try out 25 for the spread and size. And that looks perfect. And there we go, we're done the banner. Just go to file, save as, and then save the image as a JPEG or a PNG file and you're good to go. Now making the profile picture is the exact same process. Just go to file and new and create a new image. Make sure that the profile picture is about 500 by 500. Click OK. Go ahead and place the same background image. And I'm just going to place it, stretch it out and everything. Make sure it fits how you want it to. We're going to make it like that. Press the check mark. And now you're good to go. Now to add all of the same effects to the background, just go to your banner file, right click on the image, 
click on copy layer style, go back to the profile picture file, right click on the image and paste the layer style. And now your background image is going to look exactly the same. Now create a new layer and add some text. We're going to add TV and we are going to leave it as bold. I'm going to press control T, hold shift, make it a bit bigger like so. And then align it to everything by pressing control A. Layers, align layer selection, vertical centers, layer, align layer selection, horizontal centers, press control D, and then just add the layer effects to the text as well. So we're going to go back to the file. We are going to right click on the text. We are going to copy layer style. We're going to go back. We are going to right click on the text again. We are going to paste the layer style and there we go they're matching we have our banner and our profile picture and that's how simple it is to make a professional branding for your channel but that's about it for this video guys hopefully you did enjoy it if you did be sure to give this video a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching my name is iovo and i'm signing out